Okay, welcome to part two. Since everything takes forever here, just to upload it to YouTube, I'm just gonna, what's it called, I guess, I'm gonna do a time warp video. Since I have the stopwatch tab open, so you can see how long it's taking me to do everything. And I built some spearmen. Oh, I'm in the wrong place. Yep, of course the wrong place. I built a little bit more spearmen so I can get more. And it's worth it. Dang, how do I have so many over here? I don't even know. Well, whatever. Let's see. So, yeah. I have. I think I have enough spearmen to do three attacks at any moment. If each attack has, like, about... Why do I always click this one? This one. Yeah, I have enough to do three attacks. Perfectly one, two, three. That's I guess that's good. But okay. I'm uh I guess do a time warp, so let's double check what all my scores are right now. I'm at twenty thousand about to be twenty one thousand. Well it gives no EXP. But Oh, forgot to show you my commander. That's awesome. So, if you're attacking, like, range only, try to find a commander like this. You need that extra bonus on range on NPC targets. And that's, I think it's non-player castle. I think that's what it stands for. But yeah, I basically have the nomad one. This is the expensive nomad one. This is the cheap one. This is something completely different. Just to make sure I have... 100% or 90% Maybe I'll add something else. Let's see if there's anything better. Oh Is there anything better? Pretty sure it's not This and this Halloween set is the dumbest set in the world just so you know I Got all of it, but it's the dumbest set in the world It Look at the Mui. 37, I mean 36% Mui. And 29% range. That's just not worth it. I mean, I have a 100%, what's it called? I think it's 100%. Yeah, 100% finding equipment. But I, don't, I never even use it. I mean, there's no point to use it. Even if I use 100%, it'll still give me something useless. Like green armor. I don't know how that's 100%. But okay. Let's focus on what I'm trying to do. Thing, I really don't have any better. Maybe I should... Let's see. 30. 30. Uh, no, I'm not going to sacrifice it. Okay, so... Oh, I forgot to start, start time watch. Stop watch. But okay. So let's see. A spy because this tower always ends up changing its battle plan if you, if you don't spy on it. See, there's only 20 range, but it always has 60 range. Okay, let's see. I have, of course. Oh, are you kidding? Well, you should have seen that, but whatever. Thank you, Will. Hopefully you see the YouTube video. Especially the first one. Okay, so I'm starting it, so have fun. Now you can see, I'll be back. You can see how much time has passed since, yeah, it's paused, I guess. Okay, pausing. Okay, it's six minutes. I just want to show you something. Do you see how many attacks I have out? See, I mean, three of them are spearmen armies. Those are the faster one, of course. 41 spearmen each. And all the rest are slower, but see each three, meaning one, two, three, one, two, three, I'm gonna get 30 of them. And my attack of 40 gave me this much. I don't know why it lost so many. Remember how he had 20? See, he had 20 of these, and now he suddenly has 75. That's this weird. I mean, it's, I guess he's smart now. He sets his defense for himself, but whatever.
I still beat him up completely. So, yep. Passing again. It has been even more time. I got some more hits in. And I lost one attack. Oh, it's over here. I don't know how, what kind of troops those are, but I guess they're ranged defenders. Yep, and as you see, somebody is boosting up here right now. Alexis. She was like, I don't even know, she was like at 18,000 something. And I and I get about now 1,000 per attack. This attack's gonna get a li little less. Because I just finished off my. What's called? My carts. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that person has bought the ruby offer. And also, this is one of the most useless offers, according to me. I can get these for three. Like, I have, like, I think four of them right now. Let's see how many I have. If it ever loads. And if that person passed... Oh, cool. My ruby mine. If the Alexis person passes me up... This is why you save up points on Nomads. All you have to do, really, is spam troops and buy them. How cool. Buy an infinite amount. I can buy this much already. Yeah, so these are pretty good. Those are... These are going to give you less losses than using the other troops. So yeah. Let's see if I have the offer. Mm, I don't have it, but you can see. I'm doing one right now, and I have two more. So yeah. Well... Someone here doesn't like my technique, but sure. So, hopefully it's still recruiting. Don't tell me it paused. Oh, good. Oh, the tech hits. Let's see. Yeah, and these also generate good amount of rubies. Very useful. Yeah, and I have even more gold. I'm actually not even sure why I'm losing this much. Maybe the tower got upgraded or something. No, it's still 60%. See how the first two waves is one chirp, right? So, yeah. Send two waves of, I guess, tool cleaners. And the next wave doesn't have any tools, defensive tools. I mean, for foreigners, it's one tool. Or one wave of tools. Just very useful. So, yeah. Maybe I should try a technique. One attack is still going on so long. Now you can see all the people I burned. Let's see who's beating me yet. Oh, he didn't get any since last. Yeah, so, I can't wait. I think this is extremely useful. It sounds pretty useful, and if you get this, you're gonna boost straight up here. Less than 20 people have 90,000 points. I don't know why. Probably was just started or something. But I still have a lot of points to go. Okay, let me attack again. Okay, let's see if I have any carts right now. I think I don't have any right now. 
Let's see. Cards. Oh, I have 15. That's why you attack them non-stop. Just, you just get them. Instead of having to pay like a couple thousand rubies for that much. So yeah. Hopefully my attack hits quickly. Three minutes. I'm gonna lose about 115 again. So, yeah. And my map glitched out. Contrillion over here mentioned it, that his map isn't like this. I don't even know why my map is like this. Just suddenly, this will happen to the Halloween map also. It put black marks across my Halloween map. When the Halloween event was still here. Yeah, and also about the decoration. You should really try to keep it above 180. I mean, it, it like, what's it called? All of your bonuses stack together. So, like, if this is 180, and my commander bonus is 104, that's basically 300% power. Right there. But it's 100% you start off with, of course. And I want another person. I don't know why he's building troops when I'm attacking him. So yeah. Pretty cool. I don't even know why it spawned me so far back in the map. I was like over here last time, like near the very front. The time before that I was over here. I was never farther than this one over here. But I guess, I don't know. The game knows I attack people, so it puts me far away. So yeah. This is going to be the end of how to do it. Overall, what you have to do is attack people. Just attack everyone you see. Burn them. Try to people choose people without troops so you don't lose attacks. And you'll get 15 carts for every 3 camps you defeat. And then you use it. So, you use it on towers. Oh, and for the towers, I mean... If you have, like, 180%, what's called, public order, a good commander, and a good commander, then you don't even have to use the um, mantlets. I'm pretty sure I don't even actually have to use my ladders, but it saves, like, 100 people from dying. And I might as well, because I'll make everything two times slower. So yeah, he got another more. This race is becoming heated. So yeah. So I guess see you later on my next YouTube video after I open the battle report. And here it is, the battle report. So yeah, and for the main reason I meant for the, on part one, for the low, um, what's called, glory titles, is because I'm pretty sure he is not going to have as much gold as me. So they can't really recruit, so that's another tip that you already know. So okay, Assassin of Lords signing off.